In this video, you will learn the best way to directly send and sign Word documents with DocuSign without having to leave Microsoft Word. And I'll also show you a trick to get all your fields automatically applied to your documents without you having to drag and drop them each time you want to send a document for signature. And if you're completely new to the channel, my name is Sofian Saudi and I'm the founder of Solusan Consulting, where we help service-based businesses streamline their sales and customer onboarding operations. If you're interested in learning more or need help with your DocuSign implementation, you can book a strategy session using the link in the description of this video or maybe in the comment pinned at the top just down below. Back to the purpose of this video, you first need to know that this solution only works with Microsoft Word desktop software. So if using the online version of Word, you're going to need to download the document first and open it from your local um, uh, computer and send it to DocuSign from there. Why is that? Don't ask me, just ask Bill Gates. So from your Word installed on your uh, computer, what you want to do is you want to go to the add-in uh, section of Word. And so if you're using a Mac, you will find the add-in section under the developer tab and then click on add-in, but you won't find the developer tab unless you activate the option. So you first need to go to Word, then preferences, and then you go to view, and then you go to um, show developer tab. So from your developer tab, you'll then find the um, add-in um, menu. So you wanna click on the add-in menu, and then you wanna go to the store. And so just type in DocuSign and then install the only one that comes up. It's the first, I mean, the, the first one with the DocuSign logo and click on add. Um, if you're using a PC, uh, Windows, well, first I feel sorry for you. But um, if you're using a PC, you can find the add-in uh, section under file, and then um, there's an um, add-in menu that you'll find here, and then you'll be able to search for the DocuSign add-in as well. Once you've installed the DocuSign add-in, you'll then have another tab here that's called uh, DocuSign. So actually, let's do it together. So I'm gonna go with... So let's install it here. So I click on add, I agree to terms and then continue. Um, and then I'm gonna have a new tab that's gonna pop up around here and it's gonna be called DocuSign. So okay, so I'm gonna click on this and then I'm gonna need to um, click on settings because I need to add my credentials basically. So um, if your DocuSign page is already open on your computer, so while I'm recording this video, I had my DocuSign account opened in um, a Google uh, Chrome tab, so that's why I didn't need to add my login details, but normally you would. And so from here, you have two options. You can either sign a document, so if you click on this, you're the only signer, or you can request signatures from other recipients, which may or may not include yourself. If you select sign a document, so I'm just gonna show you that option now, it's very simple. So you click on continue, and then I'm gonna go to my last page, and I can just drag my fields, my name, whatever. When I'm done, I just click on finish, and then I'll get a PDF sent to my emails um, and I can just do whatever I want with that PDF. Now I'll show you the second option, which is requesting signatures. So if you want to send a document for signatures to someone, then you need to choose the other option and you'll be able to add your field, your recipients, and also apply a dynamic template. So now, what do I mean by applying a template? Well, you need to know two things. First, if you don't know what I mean, you need to go and download my free DocuSign Mastery Cheat Sheet because it will show you how to get started with fields, recipients, and templates. You'll find the link in the um, description of this uh, video or pinned at the top of the comments down below. Second, once you finish watching this video, I want you to go and watch this video because it'll explain to you how you can set up dynamic templates with DocuSign so that you can automatically apply the field to your dynamic documents and your recipient workflow, even when your document itself changes every time so that you don't have to drag and drop of the field, all the fields manually each time you're uploading a document. I wanna apply the fields automatically to my dynamic documents, but I don't wanna lose the document. I wanna keep my document but I wanna add the recipient workflow, so my borrower and my co-borrower, and I also wanna apply my fields. I don't wanna to have to drag and drop them each time manually. So what I'll do is I'll click on this little drop down, and then I'll click on apply template, and then I'll select my um, document, uh, my dynamic template for Word. And once I click on apply selected, I'll only need to enter the name and email for my recipient. So I'm just gonna add myself for the uh, purpose of this demo. And then when I click on next, I already have my fields applied exactly where I want them to be on my document. And if you wanna challenge the software, we can say, okay, but what happens if I've got an extra page? Well, let's just try. So let's just say that I'm adding 
uh, I don't know, I'm adding some lines here, right? So that's going to be, you can see that now the signature fields are on this page. Actually, I'm going to put add more lines so you can see if it's on the middle. Uh, okay, my signature fields are all over the place now. So I'm going to click on request a signature. So we can see now that the document has three pages and my signature field or in the middle of page three, which has nothing to do with what's in the template, right? So now I'm gonna click on my three dots, apply my template, select my Word document template, and I will see the signature fields are placed in the right spot. I'm gonna add myself as the recipient and then next. Okay, and if I go to my signature page, you can see that the fields are exactly where they should be. And this is called a dynamic template. It saves so much time. You need to know how to use this. So if you're creating documents, if you're creating variable documents in Word or even Microsoft or even Google Docs, by the way, I've done a video on Google Docs, so you want to watch it as well. Um, you need to know how to use dynamic templates because otherwise you're wasting a ton of time dragging and dropping your fields every time you're sending an envelope, which defeats the purpose of saving time using DocuSign. And if you don't want to waste time trying to set up your template, we can set one up for you. Just email template at solisign.com, send us your a copy of your document as an example, and we can give you a quote. So once you've applied the template and you're ready, just press send and that's it. You're done. The document is gone. So if you like this video and you want to learn more about how you can streamline your sales and custom onboarding operations, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any questions. And I will see you in the next one. Ciao!